Um, I don't know if you know this, you but... You know I'm not coming to this movie, right? I do know. Okay, yeah. just want to make sure. There is a huge event going on over at the PNC you know, heard, Carter Family Complex this weekend. This. Yeah. Did you know Hootie and the Blowfish performed at PNC Arena tonight? So let's take a live look out there. People filing out from that, and they will be filing in tomorrow. It is finally here. The lights are still on at Carter Finley. We're less than 24 hours for playing hockey, so one day away. We've been counting it down for the last 10 days. So puck drops at 8. Traffic will be a mess, but the weather will not. Low 40s. At 8 o'clock, the game wraps up with upper 30s. We have been spoiled this week with 60s and 70s, but as you can see behind me, we've got 30s and 40s for current temperatures. Here's the fun map, the 24-hour temperature change. So I'd say the cold front worked because it is 27, 28 degrees colder right now here in Raleigh than it was last night at 11 o'clock. So as you can imagine, it's going to feel a whole lot colder tomorrow. Plus, it's going to be a little breezy, so we've got wind chills. I mean, how many days over the past two weeks have we had in the 70s, and now Mother Nature slaps us with this, and it's going to feel like a slap tomorrow morning. So feels like numbers in the 20s, temperatures around 30. The good news is... We've got no rain tomorrow. We've got lots of sunshine. And for those of you who've been complaining it's too warm, this day's for you because it's going to only get up to 53 degrees tomorrow. Actually, below average temperatures. And I've got an above average super sunrise thanks to Veronica for getting up early in Durham earlier this month, capturing this sunrise and those crepuscular rays that are kind of shining through the clouds, making the shadows almost like fingers reaching up to the sky. Sun, by the way, is coming up at 7 a.m. next week. The sun will rise before 7 a.m. And as if we don't have enough weather to talk about, how about some geology for you? Our friends down on the border of South Carolina and North Carolina had a 2.4 magnitude earthquake just before 8 p.m. tonight. Not a lot of people felt it. It was about 40 miles southeast of Charlotte. We get a lot of little ones. This one, a 2.4, I'd classify as a little one. No one felt it up here in our neck of the woods, but you might want to check in with your friends and family down in South Carolina. Back to the weather map we go to meteorology, and there's the cold front that's changing everything this weekend, at least temporarily. Northerly winds behind it, helping to drop our temperatures, but high pressure in control tomorrow, keeping us sunny. It will shift around Sunday. I mean, this taste of winter is not going to last long at all. Winds are back from the south on Sunday. We'll have a few clouds, maybe a sprinkle of rain, but that warm-up will take us all the way back to near 70 on Monday for President's Day. So tomorrow is not 70, though. Welcome to winter. It uh, lasts one day instead of 90 days, and it'll take us into the mid-50s down in the Sand Hills, including 54 in Fayetteville, 52 in Rocky Mount. Here in the Triangle, low 50s on Saturday afternoon. Winds will be lighter, sun will be abundant, and we will play hockey outside tomorrow night. It's finally here. 53 degrees, then a major warm-up to near 60s Sunday, mid-60s Monday, close to 70 Tuesday. How about mid-70s Wednesday, highs close to 80 on Thursday. We'll sprinkle in some rain next week with another drop in temperatures by next weekend. All right, that.